and welcome to today's episode of Beyond the Pedal. Now, you may remember a couple of months ago, about August time, a buddy of mine, George, gave me the absolute privilege, pleasure, and wonderful experience of driving and being passenger of his 2006 manual Aston Martin V8 Vantage. A car that, without question, will go down in British supercar history or sports car history as being iconic, classic, well, and just fundamentally British, of course. And it was an incredible, incredible drive experience. And I have George to thank once again for that day. That leads me on to this. With that car being so iconic, the 2006, that era of Aston Martin V8 Vantage, does the new one shape up to be just as good? Or if not better? And you're probably wondering, Dan, surely not. Surely, because today I get to go out in this, the 2020 Aston Martin V8 Vantage. Yes, that's right. After filming the uh, 2006 V8 Vantage, David, a friend of George, got in contact with me and said, would you like to do a bit of a follow-up video and film this car? Yes, yes I would, please and thank you. So here we are, the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, the 2020 variant, the new and improved Aston Martin V8 Vantage. So here we go, another incredible day, no doubt, and I really hope you enjoy today's episode. Woohoo! Right, so here we are in the 2020 Aston Martin V8 Vantage with David. Thank Hi. you for having me. I really, really, really appreciate yeah, this no. uh, this journey. So the Aston Martin V8 Vantage, not the, the sort of 2006 one, but a bit more of a, a modern one. What made you go for for this for this version of the car when you could have had like a Porsche 992? Um, I suppose really for the money you could have bought a Ferrari, I suppose, but you went with the, the Aston Martin. Yeah. Um... I think it's one of them things, you know, when you just see a car you like, yeah. and you like. I seen that. Obviously, I, I love all of the Aston Martin models, but when I seen this model, I really, really liked it. And um, I think it was a black, black model I saw. Um, but when I saw the grey China grey, I was literally on YouTube, yeah. grey China grey Aston Martin, yeah. and, and watching all as many videos as I could. Um, so I had in my mind, like I had in my mind, like the spec. Yeah. That I, I liked, and yeah, basically when one become available, yeah, just add, add to that, that was it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you know what? I they, didn't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, the, the color of this is I, I really like this color. I know when they sort of did that, the press releases, it was almost like a lime green. It was a bit like everyone's a bit a little bit garish, but I think this is definitely it, it's subtle, but it has a really nice commanding presence, and it's something that we touched on with George in that like you say it was more of a more feeling than as opposed to logic if that yeah. makes sense how it makes you feel how it looks how it's how it is on the road and yeah seeing it parked outside the hotel um, yeah in that yeah. you like say the china gray is beautiful absolutely beautiful i know so, we were talking before about the, the yellow stitching and why that's so perfect yeah, yeah. so you know yeah so when i so basically I, I saw my company which was um a company i had for 11 years built up from scratch and um, within the last year, I've started up an investment company called 41Com. Right. And the, um, the branding is black and yellow. Oh, okay. So when I saw the interior, obviously with the, <laughs> the yellow stitching, yeah. the other thing I wanted was the Aston Martin badge in the seat, because you can get so many different varieties where um, some are just plain, some the Aston Martin badge is the same color as the seats. Yeah. Um, but when this was yellow, and black that was that was the sort that of like yeah that was the yeah one. that was yeah 
that's been a, a real nice personal touch as well, isn't it? I think, like you say, when you're buying a car of this caliber, having those little personal touches really kind of, as you say, you need to build a company up, you, you know, you do your bits and pieces, then you kind of see your the, the fruits of your labor, if you will, and yeah. now you're seeing it in the reminder of the yellow stitching, you know, what you've come from, what you've done. I think that's really, really nice. What I will say, we've just been trying down it. I cannot believe how smooth this ride is. Yeah. <laughs> Genuinely, uh, I know you've got the automatic gearbox. Obviously, before we had with George, it was, was a manual, and that was, you know, relatively smooth car as well. But this, I, for what this car is supposed to be, yeah, it's incredibly smooth. What, what mode are you in at the minute? So I'm in sport mode there. And all the videos I watched said if you if you want a car that you could be a daily driver, yeah. um, then like the sport mode is is very much. I mean it is it is quite low oh, on the ground oh, and yeah. you, you can feel you can feel the bumps, but it's certainly a car you could you could drive oh, every day without without a problem. But, without a backache. And then we've got the sport plus after that, and then track and, yeah. and tracks where you can really hear <laughs> every time. So. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a brilliant sound and. I think that's for me. That's what my cars are all about. You Absolutely. know, you, yeah. Electric cars, etc. I know, I know why they're doing it. Yeah. But, you know, for me to have that. That the sound, yeah, and the pops yeah. and bangs. Oh, absolutely, and we're looking forward to hearing those pops yeah, and bangs in a little bit. But it's funny you say about the, the sort of track, the track mode, and track feeling. Um, as we know, we spoke about before. Yeah, the the 2006 sort of Aston Martin. It you know it, it felt like it was a sense of occasion. It felt like it was a bit more space inside. This feels track focus and like oh we're not here to mess around today like it feels like I feel a lot like I'm sitting quite quite close to you not not like it's small or anything but it's like yeah. very much like no we're we're out to race today yeah. do you kind of get that vibe yourself yeah I think it's got the most best of both worlds like you say it's got that you, you go out and a lot of the time I think it was George who said on the other video you don't realize but you're, you're not going that fast there's a lot yeah. of times I'm actually like you, know, you, you look at your speedometer and you think you think you're going faster than you are yeah um but then like when you want to sort of put your foot down <laughs> you know it, it's got that supercar track yeah. type sort of feeling to it well it's really because you don't you know first you don't really see this model of car around um and obviously you know, as soon as i saw it it was just you know like I say you, and then again this is something that we touched on with george that you see porsches all the time um, you know, especially in this industry, you know, you do see them a lot, and you know, I don't think you see the Vantage enough. And I think it's definitely got a lot more road presence, even like you know, as, as with the newer, the new model, it's definitely got, I think, yeah. a lot more presence to it. Yeah, I think it's um, it's it, again, it, it suits different ages, doesn't it? It's um, yeah. you get a lot of people showing interest when out and about, obviously, and the range from the younger, the younger generation to the older. Where you know you probably understand the history yeah. and how iconic the brand is more than probably I do. Yeah. <laughs> you can't not put a smile on your face, yeah. can you? Um, so those who don't know, obviously before this iteration uh, came out, Aston Martin had the uh, a V8, uh, a V8 uh, naturally aspirated engine. This has the German. Um, Mercedes AMG V8, 5 litre V8 twin turbo, uh, and there's definitely a difference in, in the engine, I think, from going from the two. Yeah. As the other one was a bit more of a, a linear, uh, a linear sort of like powertrain, that nice delivery. This one, as you said before, we're just in sport, was a bit more, uh, we're not here to mess around, let's 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 get a shift on yeah. when you need to. I suppose that helps with the, uh, I think it's a Z4 gearbox. Um, so how does that kind of, you know, how does, how does the, the gearbox feel, the power delivery feel for you? Yourself. Yeah, no, lovely. I mean, like you see, I'll, I'll just switch um, in a second. I'll just change now. I don't know whether you can actually hear the change, but I'm going to go to Sport, Sport Plus. A little bit of a, <laughs> yeah. a, little bit of a different yeah. sound there. But then uh, if I move to track now and we're going to that next piece of road, then you'll see a difference again. And I think it's just having that variety again. Yeah. Um, so I put it in track now, you can see. So it turns red. Oh.
<laughs> Love. Fuel goes down a lot when you put it in. I bet it does. <laughs> Genuinely, it, it was the look of the car. Yeah. And I thought that's the car for me without really like, understanding the technicalities. Well, I think this is this is the thing that like say when you buy a car with with your heart, it, I think it makes it more you know personable. You know, I, you know, I get it. You know, these people that want uh, that are more like you know, track-minded, race-minded. That go, you know, and it becomes it becomes so technical, especially like you know, like the new um, the new GT3 RS. That's just like you know, you can adjust you know, all sorts of settings. That, yeah. Like I say, people like you and me, are just like, oh, I just want to look at it and go, this is incredible. Yeah. I get to drive this car. Yeah. Um, and I think when you say you, you bought it with more of a heart and feeling, that's why you buy a car like this. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I think the looks of the car has always been over what the performance is. Yeah. Uh, I don't know whether that will put me in a bit more of a minority in terms of sort of super um, because I, I don't know whether... I mean, how fast do you really need to go? Yeah, yeah. And you're the one who's got to spend the time in it and, yeah. and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, I, I, I hear exactly what you're saying with, you know, how technical you want to be and how fast is what laps I'm doing. How often are you going to the track? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well I haven't, <laughs> haven't done that. No. Yeah. How often are you hitting that 0 to 60 time? You know, how often are you even using the paddle shift gearbox? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know Just I mean? put it in uh, drive, not yeah. before. Yeah. But it's like you say, it's how it makes you feel. Yeah. And I think that's 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 why you like you say that's why you buy it, especially when you buy an Aston Martin as well. Yeah. So you we were talking about the exterior. What do you what's your favourite part about how it looks? I think it's what they call the black pack. Yeah. The the side skirts, okay. the front section, it's like a glossy black and it, and it really, really sets the car yeah. off. Obviously the calipers are yellow to match the interior. Um, well, you've got the black wheels and the, and the yeah, yellow the calipers. Yellow calipers yeah. yeah, yeah, so. It fits nicely with the china grey as well. I think that grey and black looks stunning. Yeah, and, and do you know what? The colour, it's one of them where whichever, if it's in a different light, it looks like a slightly, oh, okay. sometimes it looks like a light grey, yeah. and then some it's quite a dark red depending yeah. on so it's got that sort of right there but <laughs> you can't not it, it, you can't not put a smile on your face can it no. so I, I think for me with the styling wise I really like uh, the back with the quad exhaust and the rear diffuser the way that comes is and the the angling of the lights sort of around yeah. the lip of the boot I think looks absolutely stunning yeah for me that I, I, I like that bit and it ticks every box it's subtle it looks stunning the interior is yeah really really again you know it, it's very different to what you know the, the previous one that i managed to go into it was very like um very simple yeah this is there's a, there is a lot going on but actually um you know for those who can't see there's park reverse neutral drive button suppress zero thinking just yeah. click and play yeah um, and i think that got a lot of criticism in the videos that i yeah. was watching because it's like sort of like buttons for this buttons for that too yeah. many buttons but for me it's it's sim simplistic it's yeah. drive park I, reverse i mean i get you know everything's going all touch screen but sometimes you it can be a bit of a factor, at least with a button you know it's going to work. Yeah. Um, and, and obviously, you know, just coming from Mercedes myself, this... <laughs> just coming from a Mercedes myself, this, you know, this centre console um, with the with the dial feels very familiar. Yeah. Um, yeah. How do you, so I know you, can, you came from a BMW i8, how does this kind of transfer across? as in other differences and stuff? Yeah, I think the i8 was more like like a three series type okay. drive, you know, like a comf comfortable. Yeah. Um, and it didn't really have that, what's that word, you know, that little bit of naughtiness in it where you can you can hear the, it did actually have the engine noise yeah. echoed through the speakers, mm -hmm. but, but that was obviously artificial. Yeah, oh, okay. This is. This oh, is, you can hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yes, there is a definite difference between uh, the, the sort of first rendition of the V8 Vantage yeah. to this one, because obviously I know you've got like the you know the gearbox is immediate, but the power is is also like yeah. immediate. Yeah, I'm not saying you know the, the other one like say very linear, very tame to a degree, um, but obviously it was there when it started hitting that rev range. But this just feels like it's just yeah, as soon yeah. as you plant that it's foot down, it's wanted, yeah. immediate. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I suppose, like you say, that's what you want with a, a car of this sort of colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny because at certain times you go out 
and you're just very relaxed and you just you drive it so carefully so sensibly yeah. and then there's times where you just in the mood that you want to you know within within the sort of law and <laughs> all of that sort of stuff but there's times where you just want to have that little yeah, bit of, a, of course how does it handle i suppose that's a real single because you know we do have a nice bit of country lane driving back there and it seems to be again super smooth yeah it is it is it's funny you know when you you know when you're driving slowly and you're you're doing like a full full turn mm -hmm. it's quite bumpy okay if you're going slow but when you when you're actually on the road and you hit the court corners and stuff it handles really well so what what i'm hearing is you've got to drive it fast for it to be smooth yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which I suppose kind of, you know, it, it, it makes Brilliant. sense. But I think, like you say, um, it must be amazing to be in that position where you've got yourself to where you are, to have the SMI. I mean, you were saying you had a company for 11 years. Yeah. And now you're seeing, you know, so where, did that, where did that all kind of come from, that kind of drive to, you know, when we spoke earlier, you know, you talk about going your own way and now now seeing, like you the fruits of your labour. So what was the story behind the eventually of owning this car? Yeah, so I mean, in 2009, I set up my first business. Mm -hmm. So, and I, and, I, and I ran that all the way through to 2020, where I sold the company. Um, so when I started, it was just me from my spare, spare bedroom. <laughs> had to borrow some money from the bank. Had to borrow, borrow some money from a couple of friends. Didn't really have any money behind us. Yeah. And um, it, the best thing I could describe it is like an apprenticeship in okay. learning business. Right because I made so many mistakes but do you know what it sounds cliche but you learn from your mistakes yeah, as you go course. and you go through all sorts of experiences you know very big highs we won some big contracts with the NHS local councils we went from being a supplier to a manufacturer yep. so we had a um, manufacturing plant in Sunderland and where we used to manufacture the um, medical devices um, we had an online store so we sort of diversified in e-commerce so all of them things really was just one big learning curve and and that, I think that's you know we did really well we grew the company we had like 30 staff at one point we were distributing exporting yeah. across the across the globe but it all sounds really sort of it is great to be able to tell this story yeah but it was bloody hard work no, it was so hard work and there was times where on numerous occasions where i was thinking is it worth it is it too much is it too much stress um but i think that's that's the thing i just had that that in me when the chips were down yeah. to get up the next day and say right now I'm, I'm not going to give in I'm going to do it so I think sort of back to your question you know when we eventually sold the group it, it was during Covid so there's not we couldn't really do that much yeah, of so it was actually nice to be forced to take some time out with the yeah. family um, but that soon become the sort of itchy feet and I was start looking at yeah. what I could do you know I could spend some of the money on and a, a nice car supercar was something i've always wanted yeah and it is a nice little reminder when you get in and you do things like this that sort of hard work does really pay off yeah absolutely it, it, it does and i think that's something i always try and share with as many people as possible i'm now mentoring yeah a few younger entrepreneurs um and it, and it is that, it's that hard work that I try and sort of instill in them and yeah. my own kids as well. You know what yeah. it is? Again, I don't want to talk in too many cliches, no, but it's like, if you do good for somebody, it always comes back. Absolutely. Like, you know, I was telling you offline, yeah. the guy who um, loaned me some money to start the company, and he said, he said, literally, pay me back, give us a bit extra, but do it for somebody else one day. And hopefully I'm doing a bit of giving back now by doing my mentoring and yeah. helping people in different ways. Yes. I think if you can, whatever you do, you can find something you're passionate about, you're halfway there. Absolutely. Yeah, no, and yeah, I think that's a really nice, yeah, really nice kind of way to kind of you know, bring this, bring this video in. Really, yeah, it's definitely, definitely really, really nice, um, and a huge success story. So you know, you know, congratulations to all your success, man, and, yeah. and thank you for this opportunity as well to, no, to be no, out and about on it. It's. Uh, to be out in an Aston Martin of the 2006 era to one now, yeah. you know, it's, 
been to, you know, a huge thanks to both you and George for the, for the opportunity. And I think we're going to give you a go as well. Oh, <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah. ah. You have to do an evaluation out of Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm no, I'm no Jeremy Clarkson, that's for sure, <laughs> but I'll do my absolute best. So I think we'll, um, yeah, we'll wrap, wrap that up there, get ready for the handover and for me to, to sit in the hot seat and, uh, well, yeah. have a go myself. So uh, watch out for that one. Right, so here we are. I'm in. I'm in the hot seat. Um, this is an absolute first, and thank you for having this level of, of trust in me for this. So you're gonna have to talk me through yeah. this. Foot on the brake. Yeah. Drive. Drive. Yeah. The handbrakes on the right hand side is a little toggle switch. Got you. So I suppose with keeping with the tradition of the uh, of the V8, they've got uh, the handbrakes on the right hand side down here. Right. Which was like that completely threw me off as well. Right, I think right. it did for George when he first got in. So it's usually a handbrake down here, but. Very, yeah, just very, a little, uh, little toggle switch. Yeah, just like on the, a lot of Mercedes cars, actually, mm. it's just down here. Um, and the way we kind so, of yeah, yeah, you're good to go. Kind of go. So we're gonna go straight over at the roundabout. Here we go. And then uh, see where it says S. Yep. If you want it to, you can just change it. One press to sport plus. Right. One press to track. Okay. It'd be worth you just seeing the failing okay. the track. Okay. <laughs> we'll just. I'm just gonna let. Make yeah, sure it's all completely the car. <laughs> <laughs> let all the traffic pass because I do not want to. Did you think it was ever quite squirrely at all? Did you ever feel like the back end's coming out? No, I think there's just one time where I've sort of I have pushed it and it sort of slipped a little bit. Oh, you really? know, where you think, but I'm not that experienced in terms of like the driver. It's a very interesting steering wheel, isn't it? Yeah, that's like clusters. I think it's like the sports steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. The other ones are. Because I think the one that you were in was a bit wrap more round. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's very, I don't know what, I don't know what shape you would call this. Oh, I see what you mean, that, that little bit of, I mean, to be honest, that was only going up to like three and a half RPM. Yeah. Um, I know they were talking about it, it feeling like a bit of a bit of a barge type of thing, and it was quite big, but to be honest with you, it, it feels, I don't know the best way to describe this really. It doesn't feel as big as it's made out to be, if that yeah. makes sense. And yeah, I've never felt that. It's, I think it's quite compact, I think. Yeah, um, it's definitely, like, I see exactly what you mean. You can literally just sit here like this, yeah. coffee in hand. Yeah. And I feel like this is a little bit too easy to drive. Um, with, with the other one, it felt like you, you were really, like, kind of you were driving aware. It. Yeah. Whereas, like you say, this just feels, as you say, well, I could just yeah, just sit and here I, and just. I think that's what suits me best because <laughs> I'm not used to driving in that way. Yeah. I'm used to just having your usual nice sort yeah. of car where you can relax in it, and I think that's that's what suits me. Where yeah, I think I mean, I've not really you see it straight down. I've not really been in a Ferrari or Lamborghini, but I would imagine it's a bit more of a sports track yeah. car. Well, well also as well it doesn't like I say again super comfortable like I don't feel like my back's in yeah in clip again I know I know it's big again complaints about visibility but to be honest with you this pillar here yeah I mean my my C class is, is a lot thicker you know the, the, you know the pillar here is the visibility is fantastic it's quite clear out the back out of that rear view mirror so I, all these reviews that were saying oh there's no visibility in this I was like mm, yeah I, I don't really see it myself um, unlike, I'll be honest, <laughs> George's one, there wasn't much visibility at the back, in all seriousness. Um, but with this one, there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's nothing, there. for me, there's nothing I like, I don't like it. Yeah. Oh, it's everything. I actually quite like this interior, I like, really like the interior. I know that, like I say, there was a lot of complaints about all this. Yeah. But genuinely, I, no complaints at all. It's a really, really, really nice place to be. <laughs> I definitely think the option of the the leather interior on top rather than yeah. the Alcantara is, is definitely the, the way forward. I think, like you say, when you pick your options that you wanted, you absolutely like yeah. pick the idea of spec. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you pick the perfect spec for this. Yeah. The grey, the black, with the yellow. Yeah. It all I works think it's, it's been a good investment as well because I think everybody who sees it, the first thing they see is, oh my god, the spec on this car is beautiful. Yeah. 
and I think obviously if you want to set yourself apart, if we do, if I do go to sort of move the car on, yeah, it's got to be. Oh, I mean, it's got to be a, like, it's got to be sort of stand out. I don't think it? you'll have any trouble selling yeah. this car. No, no trouble whatsoever. <laughs> Absolutely not. You know, we're driving through see them now. It, you can see people just like looking, yeah. seeing it. it. Like you say, just like the other one before. There's just so much presence about it and. And as we said, well, you know, looking down that Aston Martin badge when you're driving, you must feel like a million dollars. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a nice. It's a nice feeling. As a as a supercar, in comparison to like I suppose anything I've been in, I, I honestly thought it was going to be a bit more like, oh my god, I just feel. Oh. Yeah. But generally, it just feels like it's well built, and you can just get in it and just like say coffee here. Yeah. What one arm in it down the down yeah. the road and just enjoy the drive for what it is if you want to drive it slow you can you want to drive it fast it will let you do it yeah um yeah that's i suppose that's what you want especially when you're not using the, the paddle shifts yeah well i mean i don't i don't do it that much now but i used to do a lot of longer journeys with the football oh, yeah i'm going to watch football players play at different parts of the country and i could imagine myself just jumping in this and going oh. down to stoke going down to, going down to london even yeah. i could you know it wouldn't be that much of a no chore would it no, yeah. absolutely. and heated seats as well an absolute must have yeah an no, absolute I, to, must to be honest have. I didn't even realise I had them <laughs> <laughs> until you pointed out oh really yeah. no way probably because I've only had it in the in the, like, summer, in the yeah. summer I suppose it'll come handy in the winter time yeah you? I tell you what, mate. I really, really appreciate yeah, you um, you letting me uh, drive this this back. I, I can't thank you enough. Um, oh no, what an experience. you're welcome. Thanks, thanks for the opportunity to to take me out, and yeah, it's been good. Just pop it here. Too easy. Bit of round town driving, bit of speed. Yeah, brilliant. Good stuff. Thanks, mate. Really no appreciate problem. it. There he is. <laughs> right, David, mate, thank you so much for that experience. Um, incredible car, incredible car. Uh, verdict, I suppose. So what, what's, your, what's your thoughts on the car yourself? Yeah, no, absolutely love it. Nice to go out and show it off a little bit. Um, and yeah, just, uh, I, I just when you, when you look at it, you, you can see it's, uh, it's just a little bit, little bit special when it comes to the color, the wheels, so it's something I'm very, very proud of, and yeah, thanks for the opportunity. I really enjoyed it, and good, good to get to meet you. Um, I want to think that if people want to find out more, more about you and what you do um, and your company, where, where can they find you? Probably start with Instagram, David Lynch on Instagram. I'm also on Twitter, David Lynch underscore. Um, but yeah, be great to connect and uh, send us a DM if anything is of interest. So this or a Porsche. This. <laughs> yeah, this. I tell you what, I think I've absolutely got to, uh, I've got to agree with David there. Uh, this car has been an incredible, incredible opportunity, an incredible day, and uh, I think if you had the money, I'd take this over um, over a 911 uh, 992 any day of the week. Incredible experience. Thank you so much, David, for today. As always, we'll be on the pedal. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all the usual YouTube jargon that you know and love. Anyway, that's me, guys. Signing off for now. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.